Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, I'm going to begin to set the sleeves in to the body of the shirt. But rather than sew it in with just a quarter inch seam, um, I want to do an entredeau seam. So what I have done is I have cut two pieces of entredeau, one for each sleeve, that's just a little bit longer um, than the armhole opening. Okay, now I need to pin this on um, along the opening of the armhole, but it needs to curve and flare as it goes around. So I've got two pieces, and what I'm going to do, oops, I dropped it. Okay, about every three eighths of an inch or one half of an inch, I'm going to cut a little notch along both sides of the entredeau. Now, I need to do this to both pieces, so it'll take me a couple of minutes, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have that entredeau pinned um, along each of the armhole openings. So, using a straight stitch and sewing just to the right of the entredeau ladder, I'm going to sew the entredeau onto each one of the armholes. Taking my pins out of, oh, I think I just made a loop in my, hold on. Okay, so using a straight stitch, I will sew this entredeau um, to the armhole opening, just stitching immediately to the right of the entredeau ladder and taking my pins out as I come to them. Just go kind of slow because you don't want to pierce the entredeau ladder because that kind of spoils the look of the entredeau in the seam. Okay, this is going to take me a little while to get both of these pieces of entredeau sewn on the sleeve opening, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the entredeau sewn on to both of the armhole openings. Now, I need to go to the ironing board and press this entredeau seam toward the inside um, of the garment. But in order to do that, um, I've got the... Uh, Entredeau is notched, but I need to notch the batiste um, so that the batiste will flare on the inside. So what I'm going to do is everywhere I have a notch in the entredeau, I'm going to go back and notch the batiste of the shirt. Just all along the armhole opening, just being careful not to clip my sewing thread. Okay, this will take me a minute to get both sleeves done. Okay, so I've got that press towards the inside of the shirt body. I'm gonna set my machine at a zigzag, the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. And then I'm going to zigzag this entredeau seam into place.
Okay, so this is going to take me a couple of minutes to get both of these seams done, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got both of those Entredeau seams zigzagged. Now, I'm from the inside of the shirt, I'm going to use my specialty scissors, um, and it'll kind of make a little blizzard of little white rectangles, but I need to clip this excess Entredeau just kind of close to the zigzag line. And like I said, since you, I'm literally, I'm clipping off one little notch at a time, um, it kind of makes a mess. But, you know, needs to be done. Okay, since I'm using these scissors, and it should be for the last time on this particular shirt, I'll put a link down below um, if you still haven't ordered a pair and you need a pair, um, they're really, you know, they're made for this kind of work. Okay, all right, so this will take me a while to get this all done. Okay, I have that trimmed and I've got my pattern piece out. And since I need to have mirror image sleeves, um, I've written the word back um, on both sides. I also transferred my pattern marking for the shoulder seam um, center of the little sleeve. Now I need to go to the ironing board and I need to iron this down by one quarter of an inch and then iron it on the fold line so that I can hem the little sleeves before I set them into the garment. So this will take me a minute at the ironing board. Okay, I've got that um, pressed and ironed and while I was off camera, um, I went ahead and hand hemmed each of the little sleeves. So I'm ready to begin to set a sleeve in. So I'll start with this sleeve. Okay, I'm going to pin it um, at the shoulder seam with a silk pin. Then I'm gonna go to the end, match it up. with the side seam, and then I'll begin to ease it into place. Okay, that's one side. Now I need to get the other side, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got both of the sleeves eased and pinned into place. So using a straight stitch, um, I'm going to sew the sleeve into the body of the garment, one at a time. Okay, it's gonna take me a minute to get both these sleeves sewn in, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the sleeves are sewn in, and I need to go to the ironing board and press my seam toward the inside of the sleeve so that I can come back and zigzag again. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, now using a zigzag stitch and the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau, I'm going to zigzag this entredeau seam into place. Okay, this will take me a minute to get this done. Okay, I've got the seam zigzagged and I've got one seam trimmed, but using my specialty scissors, um, I'm just now finishing up trimming on the second sleeve, just trimming close to the zigzag line, some of the excess Batiste and Entredeau. Kind of makes a mess because you're literally taking off one little notch at a time. There. Oops. There. Okay, so in this video, what I was doing was I was sewing the sleeves in with an entredeau seam. And I think, um, um, if you've ever made this shirt before and you've struggled to ease that sleeve in uh, the way the pattern suggests it, putting the entredeau on the seam before you ease the shirt in, um, really, I, I find it to be extremely helpful. And the little sleeve seems to fit um, just perfectly. I mean, the pattern piece is done perfect and it's much easier to get that sleeve in with an entredeau seam. But that's what we were doing today. Thank you.